That was a wonderful, wonderful episode of Gek on Shoujo. I'm in tears because I laughed so hard. Have you ever been in that state where you laugh so much you run out of oxygen like you need oxygen? That's exactly what happened when I was watching this. I had to pause the episode when it got to that dirt face of Chio. When it got to that dirt face, I had to pause the episode and I had to literally get up out of my chair, walk downstairs, go out my front door, and just breathe fresh air. I'm not joking. I really fucking did that. It, it was just it was that funny. It was really that funny. I, I, I couldn't breathe. Because when you saw Chio, like, <laughs> I'm gonna have the picture. I wanna have the picture on here. You're all gonna be able to see that picture. It just, when you see her, like, and you see her eyes like that, just, <sighs> I almost lost it when I saw the music. The, the music scene with Seo watching Kashima and seeing how tone deaf she is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It always gives me a rush. Seriously, this series always gives me that hilarity rush, like the happiness rush. I don't know. It just it gives you that, you know, feeling of like, holy hell, I can do anything. I can bench press an entire fucking planet, which I know for a fact I can't. But I mean, I feel like it when I'm in the entire bit of watching the episode because it just, the emotions, the feels, the happiness, the comedy everything wrapped up into the perfect package that is Gekalon Shoujo. Wonderful anime. Wonderful, wonderful anime. The comedy, of course, is not going to be for everyone. It's always been like that in any comedy anime. But my god, you can't deny how freaking great that is. When you see Seo, you know, just looking at Kashima, have her legs crossed, like, act like a dude, and all of a sudden you see Kashima singing, and you see the entire screen go back into like a black and white film, and you hear the screech, it's not like, oh! It just, it sounded so bad. And when you, you know what, like, tops that entire scene off, is you see Chio and Nozaki just in the background screeching up against the wall like they're dying. <laughs> like they're fucking dying to the music or the the singing that Kashima was doing this. I'm in tears again because it's so fucking funny. My god. It just when you see that, it just Words alone can't describe the scene. It really can't. If you have not watched this episode, you're missing out. This was a great episode. A great episode of Gekon Shoujo. Once again, the comedy feels fresh, and it focuses on Seo and Waka this episode, and also goes over to Kashima and Mikorin. That's exactly the main focus of the characters in this episode, and majority of it, the first half is Seo and Waka, and then the second half is Kashima, and getting to see a little bit of Hori Senpai. That's the main concept of the first and second segment. So anyways... I have too many things in this episode. I can't, like, count what was my favorite. I seriously, at this time, I don't know what was my favorite segment in my favorite part of this episode. I can name a couple, but I definitely cannot select my favorite because this episode was way too funny. If an anime episode of comedy makes me get out of my chair and walk downstairs, it's fucking funny because that is what it did. I just... I, ah. Poor Chio. I, I just want to say that. Every time she has any type of romantic feelings towards Nozaki, like she feels like she's going to get somewhere, he always ruins it. Like last episode. In this episode, she thought she was going to get to see Nozaki dress into a costume, and he comes out with a, a fucking... A, a bear. A bear costume. That looks just so ridiculous. Once again, Nozaki, he, he's insane. He, he's fucking crazy. He, he's just... He's, He's, yeah, he's crazy. Just when you see him walk on stage with a bear outfit, and when you see uh, Chio just get so upset, and she's like, I wanted to see his face. I'm like, just, this show is greatness. It is really greatness. It is, it's the perfect episode and the perfect series to end the day off of if you've watched a comic got kill, because... It has so much to offer. If you love comedy, you love slice of life, and you love awesome misunderstandings and different stuff like that, Gek on Shoujo will continue to impress you. And that's exactly what this episode did. Get me a good laugh. Oh, yeah. Out of all the episodes I think I've seen from this season, this is probably one of the funniest I've seen. It's just wow. 
Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love all of you so much. You have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.